another two in the space of four days. You'd think it would be a happy coach. Here he is with Rich Bayless. Well, Ange, progression through to the quarterfinals at the earliest possible opportunity. How close to optimal were your team tonight? Yeah, no, they were fantastic. Um, you know, um, from our perspective, can't fault uh, any bit of it. They worked hard. Um, I thought our football was really good. We you know, scored four very good goals. and probably should have had a few more, but um, full credit to the players. I thought they were outstanding. Well, speaking of those players, you've said many times now about how much depth you have in this squad, but to see three guys come in and play such a key role in the performance as well must be extremely pleasing. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, and, and you know, we, we kind of picked this squad knowing that uh, it's a tournament and, and certainly we learned some lessons at the World Cup and, you know, um, all the players here are, are ready and available and they can contribute, you know, and we'll still have net, you know, guys like Tommy Orr, Nathan Burns, uh, Alex Wilkinson, uh, you know, they still haven't really uh, had a fair shot at it, but uh, I guess moving into the third game now, we can uh, change the team again a little bit and uh, give some guys an opportunity. Um, no one's let us down there, which is great. Clean sheet at one end. At the other end, you've got eight guys who have put away goals so far in the two games. What does that tell you about this squad? Oh, look, I guess, you know, we've got the depth we need. And I think, look, the, the players are certainly feeling comfortable in the way we're going about things and, and uh, the way we're playing our football. And they all feel, you know, they can contribute. And, um, you know, it's great to, to obviously have uh, multiple goal scorers, but more importantly, I think we have multiple threats, you know. And, I guess um, moving forward, that's going to make us pretty hard to stop.